Revernauts, it's Chief Engineer Rever, and I am back again, and we are looking down, as always, at the wonderful space agency complex, the Rever Stand Space Agency Complex. And we have uh, completed some missions in the last episode, which is great. So let's take a look at mission control oh, real man. quick and just see what see what's available to us. The base stations aren't, and I'm kind of wondering why, and I was sort of looking down the list. I'm not sure how much this will get into, but launch a new space station. We don't have a, we have to unlock some parts, I think. Unlock the PPD hitchhiker. So I'm not too worried about that. I want to keep with the mission in, at hand. As far as the satellites go, I noticed that we have a just moon sat one. Mm -hmm. So let's go see if we can't go. Does it tell us, will it show us what that involves? Because sometimes you have to make sure that you have enough fuel, right? So moon sat one. Oh, okay, you know what? Is that doable? Which direction are we heading? Is the Yeah, see, we're heading in the right direction. You can see we're a little bit brighter right here. So, yeah, that would be real easy to do. All we have to do is change our periapsis a little bit. Okay, so let's go back and take that mission. It probably will be the first one we do, depending on the timing of things. But yeah, so but you always want to check, make sure you you can actually do it, because sometimes it'll involve you like reversing your orbit, and it just you don't have enough enough juice. But I'm almost certain we can get this one done. I hate to fail it. All right, so let's uh, accept that mission. So now we're back up to six of them. All right, and then we don't have any of these SETI contracts. I have a feeling we have to get done this manned one, right? Uh -huh. Unmet. Yeah, we have to complete that before we can do a, do the next uh, manned orbital docking. So we'll see. We'll just we'll keep going, and we might fast forward some time. But then we have this Minmus uh -huh. and Kerbin, and the probe is still on its way out there. I hope. Hopefully, there's no problems. Let's. Uh, so really, I'm not seeing any, you know, we have these, you know, bring tourists, you know, over the site. Those are a little bit annoying. They're, they're good, but yeah, there, there's nothing else that's really, we're not going to do any of the surveys. That's building airplanes. But we got a good amount of science from our little landing on the moon, which was pretty much expected. So let's go back over to, well, let, let's just go here. So we have two hours for Orbstat 2, and then three days for the Mimmasat. So let's go check out, let's go check, we'll just jump right to it. And we'll see, uh, we'll see what the status of this guy is, right? So let's uh, close the alarm clock. Now, you know what, let's just move the alarm. Whoa, that's, that was unexpected. Grab it over here. Yeah, so let's open this up. Yeah, so we have a pressure. We, we're already programmed. Let's uh, let's jump over to map mode and see what this involves. And it seems like we're yeah. So we're waiting to go to the periapsis there and burn. And hopefully that'll get us right into a nice the orbit that we want. Looks like we're getting awful close to the moon there, aren't we, with this orbit? Surprised at some point if it doesn't get sucked into the moon. Do you see that? Like we're not heading in the right direction, but we're <laughs> we're certainly getting close there. But anyway, that's the orbit they want us in, so that's what we'll do. So yeah, let's uh let's do some hundred times fast forwarding and see if that's enough to to get well, let's do a thousand times fast forwarding. And we'll get over here, and it should really just do it all on its own, right? And hopefully when it gets done, and we'll, we'll fast forward a little more time, and that's one of the things about this flight computer, right? Yep, slowing us down nicely as far as time goes. It's a one-second burn. Let's just go check. Just go check, make sure everything's staged. Yeah, I mean, we just should have to a little tiny itty-bitty burn. Let's turn off that alarm clock and let's fast forward time until we're, you know, a little bit closer. But, you know, this should provide us a nice relay satellite that, that can help us at times. It may not ever help us, but it certainly won't hurt us, right? Here we 
we go. We got about 10 seconds left. Yeah, where are we at relative? We're, we're on the other side of the earth, the Kerbal from, here we go. Let's see. Let's see what that did for us. Oops. Yeah, let's, let's take a look at our, oh, there we go. Yeah, we had to stay stable for a certain amount of time. But there we go. So we got another mission, 107,000, nine science. Nice. I like getting that science. That science is almost more important than money. But the money, the money should be coming in, <laughs> which is good because we'll need it to build more stuff. Now, the other thing we can do is enable, enable that. So there we are. A little easier to see where we're at. But like I said, it won't hurt us to have that extra extra satellite is that that close well, i guess yeah it definitely comes close to the moon's orbit all right so let's uh let's take a look at our kerbal alarm clock and yeah i guess we should go now you know what let's let's get out of here and let's go and and do this before we fast forward two days right let's go and take a look and get that other satellite contract done first, right? We might as well knock them off when we can. So Moonsat 1, let's uh, fly that mission. There we go, good. We're connected at this moment. So there we are floating around the moon. At least we're a little mini relay satellite anyway here, aren't we? So let's go over to our map view. Yeah, this should be pretty pretty straightforward. Let's get rid of the alarm clock. So we want to go to a periapsis of 65,000. So let's burn at our apolapsis, right? And we want to go, go prograde a little bit. You know what? Let's, uh, let's just do it this way. Turn this down a little bit. We want to raise... Oh, that was way too fast. Now, oh, right, let's slow it down a bit. So 65,090, if we can get that close. There we go, 65,110. So let's turn this guy on. Execute that. Yeah, 53 minutes. So that's well under the two days, which I expected. All right, so let's fast forward time until we get around there oh, that's right look we just we just missed it didn't we so we got to go all the way around and back again we're not back again but all the way around almost to where we were yeah that's like so too many orbits I probably should just hit the there we go 10 minutes so this is just a one second burn. Let's do the burn from this view, why not, right? We can always go check the map later. There we go. So if you look, we're gonna burn prograde a little bit, which makes sense, right? We're going around this way. All right, so let's uh, fast forward till we get to, to the actual burn. We're close, again, it's only one second little ditty. 10, 10 meter per second change here. Not much. There we go. Let's slow time down. Six seconds to go. Zoom in. All right. So now did that did that do the trick? Yes. You can you can tell if it did it if you're in the orbit because you disappears the thing and it's just a matter usually like you have to stay there, there's a condition to stay in the orbit for a certain amount so there we go 17 grand for doing that we'll take it right i'm not sure why they wanted us to change that little bit but it's all good so we'll switch back to this view and jump back out to the space center yeah so we still have two days for, for doing that Rodimir still has six days up in the capsule there all right, so let's see. Did that change the missions that were offered? Satellites, no. We only still have two. 
two satellites, which I'm not too interested in putting them in orbit around the moon just yet. And part testing, do we have anything? Nah, nothing at the Space Center, right? And then we still can't do any SETI contracts. Yeah, so let's just keep knocking off contracts. We, we have plenty of time. This episode is uh, knocking them out left and right. So I think now we get to do something a little bit interesting, right? Because the next one that we have a maneuver for is this Mimus Sat 3, which I want to actually rename, but let's jump over to the ship. We can rename it from there. Right, so this is our Mimus Sat 3. And if we come and jump to the map mode, this is the one, if you look, our keen eyed observers, Sol EO and Chunk had pointed out that we are going in the wrong direction. If you look, this is which way we're coming in, and this is which way that is. Let me let me go back over to here. Get rid of that. Now I'd like to take a minute to explain that this we're actually very fortunate to have such keen-eyed observers. When you think about what is the best way that you would switch your orbit, right? Well, the bottom line is you just you have to get your velocity going in the opposite direction, right? And I'm going to spin around and kind of come up top here and let's lower this guy for a second. And let's see if we can't When you picture, imagine that you're on the earth and you were to throw a ball straight up in the air, or pretty close to straight up in the air. That's the same thing that's happening to this orbit that we have right now. When you think about it, like it would have been the equivalent of like a really strong person throwing a ball really hard, and it, it was heading out, and it gets up to here, it gets way up in the air, right? And then gravity really, you know, it's, it's gravity's not very strong here, but eventually the gravity becomes enough to pull it back down towards the planet, right? Same thing that happens with a normal strength person. They just can't fling it all the way into space, right? Let's forget about the atmosphere and all that stuff. Well, at that point that the ball is way at the very top here, right? Like picture it's all the way up in there. If you had a really tall ladder, let's say you were on the planet, it would be really easy for you to push the ball in the other direction and have it come back down this way, right? Does that make sense? Now, imagine if there's a player that's, you know, a, a player, a, a, a person who's throwing the ball like way up here, and they were to throw the ball in this direction hard enough that it would never hit the planet. Like that's a lot of velocity that they would need to throw it with, right? I hope that makes sense. Like in other words, because really what's happening when you're in an orbit is you're constantly falling back to the planet, right? Because gravity's always pulling you the same amount as it would pull this satellite back towards the planet, right? But you're moving fast enough that as you fall, you're just, you're, you're not, you're, you're going to the side. Like in other words, instead of just going straight away, the earth is, or the Kerbal is pulling you back down towards the planet, right? I say all of that because when you're in this kind of a position right here, it's the least energy it's going to take to reverse that orbit. Because when we get up here, we really don't have much momentum going in this direction. We have a very little bit of momentum. If you were already in that orbit, you would have had to put a lot of momentum in the wrong direction in order to stay in that orbit. So when we get up here, we should be able to just flip this over relatively easy by burning prograde, right? And we're going to burn prograde until we're going in the wrong direction. Depending on how well we do it, it's going to mess up our inclination and things like that. And we'll have to readjust, but there's no, re you know, like this is the best way to change. Like if you had to change your orbit, you would want to do it in exactly this kind of a circumstance where you have as low a periapsis as possible and a high apoapsis. I hope that makes sense. It definitely makes sense to me. Sometimes these physics concepts are, you know, just they're tough to understand, but if you get it, you get it. So like, in other words, if we were in the full orbit, you're going to have to overcome all of that momentum that's keeping us in the full orbit, but we're not. We only have a little tiny bit of momentum 
in the side to side direction. It's all like almost all up and down. So we only have to kind of overcome this little bit of, of momentum, the, the momentum that's bringing us in and back around as opposed to the momentum that would take us all the way around. All right, having said all that, I hope that's a good enough explanation of how this works. I wanna come here and actually delete that, right? We no longer wanna, we're not even gonna to try to get into, into an orbit. What we're gonna to try to do is come up here to our apoapsis, right? Now let's spin back around so you guys can see what happens. And we're gonna burn retrograde because that's this direction, right? So what I wanna do is I'm gonna burn retrograde and see how that flips right over? And then if we do a good enough job, we can yeah, see we got the same inclination there, right? We got a little bit of extra periapsis, which means we could bring it back down, but I'm, I'm not too worried about that, right? Now we could actually probably, let's just see what happens if we keep burning, quote, retrograde. Yeah, see, eventually, well, that's how, that's, 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 yeah, I'm not sure what will happen. Yeah, that, that's really not too bad, is it? Yeah, I think we're going to just try that and see what actually happens. Now, the problem is I'm a little bit nervous about the flight computer understanding the change from retrograde to prograde, if that makes sense. Like, because at some point our retrograde and prograde is going to flip. As a matter of fact, let's let's do that separate. You know, I think we're getting, I'd rather do two maneuvers technically. Yeah, let's do, yeah, the periapsis is going to be, yeah, that, that's a fine maneuver right there. Now, the problem we have is, it's going to be awful hard to get another maneuver. So what I want to do is actually, let's come over here. Let's see, can we, I'm going to get, yeah, see, it's going to be hard to pick out. There we go. Yeah, add a maneuver, right? And then I want to, I'm going to make sure our second maneuver is just after the first one. And then what we're going to do, yeah, see, it's, yeah, see how this prograde is the other direction now? Like, prograde right now is this way. So I'm going to pull on this prograde. Yep, and our purple one should... Yep. All right, so there we go. So let's uh, let's see if we can't do some. Yeah, what what periapsis do we want? Forty seven three seventy four. So let's. Uh, we can't do. Right, let's see if we can't just bring it in manually here, or semi manually. Yeah, that, that's that's as close as I think we're going to get it. So let's see what, ha oh, we're not connected. Why aren't we connected? Um, let's jump back over to here. Um, low orb set one, two, let's, well, let's, are we just too far away? No, those satellites, uh, no, 90 million miles. We're not, we're only at, well, what is our, yeah, we're only at 23. So we're just not pointing at anything that's, what is this guy? Mimmus Sat 2. Let's see if we can't change our target to Mimmus Sat 2. Uh, right? No? Yeah, because we're not going to be able to do anything if we're dead in the water. So let's, let's jump over to Mimisat too. Can we? Switch to. So is Mimisat too? Are any of these? Uh, you know what we can do? 
I think if we go to this mode, no, yeah, here, why can't I, and this guy's not connected either, is he? Hmm. Why do we have no no connection? Are we out of power? No, we got plenty of power. Mid orb sat one. Moon probe lander. Look there, we got moon probe lander. There we go. All right, let's see what that. So we got Moonsat one. Yeah, that that I don't really fully understand. Oh, other than maybe we're just too far away. All right, well while we got a connection, let's uh, yeah, let's let's get rid of all of that and hit execute. There we go. Oh, no, you know what? We want to get... Yeah, this, this is kind of a mess. So it's going to be two days before we get there. Right? Let's just take a quick look at this. Make sure... Yeah, look, at they're, they're within a minute of each other. Um... But then this is waiting until the next thing. I'm not sure how to grab that. Yeah, see, that's the other one. Is there any way to... Well, let's move this one. Yeah, see, I don't think I can grab the other... There's the purple one. Can I get... No, that's the other one. Yeah, I want to get to that purple one. I don't want to click on this one. Does that make sense? Yeah, see, it's they're both. Oh, this is the right one. Yeah, so let's uh see what happens now 21 days <laughs> all right you know what we're gonna get let's get rid of the purple one again and then what we'll do is we'll just try to burn immediately after right yeah this one yeah so let's get rid of that get rid of that let's just close this make sure yeah, let's just do our orbital flip burn and then we'll we'll try to real quick set up another one. Hopefully we'll keep our connection. All right, execute two days. Yeah, are we right on the apoapsis? We could probably move it a little bit. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we just do that. Yeah, 50 minutes. So that gives us two minutes to get over to. Yeah, let's just see if we can't do this a little bit sooner right yeah so this is this is now 46 minutes so that gives us a couple extra minutes to get over there which remember these are just the alarms so like yeah it's it's not quite perfect but I think we'll get our orbit flipped this way. All right, so let's do definitely a thousand times speed, right? Nice. So we probably could have been fast forwarding while I did that, but I wanted to get all that worked out. Let's get rid of, I guess I need to just hit the F8. Yeah, we lost our connection again. A little concerned about that. I didn't think we were that far away, but because we're only 29 million miles, so why aren't we connecting to anything? Once we do this burn, oh yeah, because if we're not connected, yeah, 
right, you know what, let's slow down. We really need to get a connection. So let's see if we can do mid orb stat two. Yeah, let's come here. Oh, we're going to be in the other mode. Sorry. So mid. Yes. Okay, good. At least we get a connection. I'm not, I don't care about permanent. Like if we wanted to really set this up, we would do it different, but. All right, good. So hopefully, hopefully we'll, we'll stay with this connection. All right, so let's go back to fast forwarding. How much time do we have left? Three hours. And we should see. Good, we're slowing down nicely. We only have nine minutes to get back over to that other one. Which means we want to do this burn. Yeah, we're burning right before the apple apsis, which is fine. And then we'll... Yeah, I hope I didn't just add a maneuver. No. All right, let's do that. We're still connected. So once we get this burn done, yeah, let's make sure he moves over here. And then we need to do this from here because I'm going to need to stage this guy right in the middle of all of this. Good, we're lined up. We got two minutes, so this is a 20 second burn. So let's get it down. Get our time down and then. And we'll get ready to stage in the middle. Whoa, slow down. happens in the maneuver thing. Oh, da -da 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 -da. Yep, there we go. Okay, I scared myself. But look, now we're going the opposite direction. So now that we're going the opposite direction, we want to add a maneuver now, right? And burn prograde to get us close to where we want to be. No, see, we're off. Yeah, you know what? We're going to have to wait. Yeah, we're past the apolapsis. And when you get into these, yeah, we're just going to have to wait to get this done. All right? So let's, uh, we'll just, we'll plan it out. It's okay. But it, it, this is going to be a long, slow orbit. All right, so what was that? 47.3. We'll come over to here. 46.8 I have there, so let's oops, let's move this down a lot. 47.3. There we go. That should be close enough for sure. And yeah, our inclination is just fine. So let's uh, tell this guy to execute that. And it's nine days away now, which is okay. So the bottom line is is that we're going to go through a loop. Let's make sure we didn't... Yeah, our periapsis to Kerbin is still 400, so we shouldn't have a problem. It doesn't look like we're going to intercept the moon or anything. All right. Yep, let's get over to Mimisat 3, right? Yeah, I shouldn't have necessarily closed that. Yep, all right, let's get out of here because we need to get over there, but we got this guy set up nicely. Um... Yeah, so I can't just go to the space station through there for some reason. All right, let's go here. And I probably should have just gone right to the track tracking station. There we go. So where is Minmus? Yeah, I'm now confused. I shouldn't have closed that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one though that Yeah. Okay. Let's uh let's fly this guy. 
Now, I don't know what happens with this flight computer. Now, nine days. This is was this was it mid? I don't know. Now I'm now I'm completely confused as to which ship it was. Right. All right. Let's just take a look. Yeah, this guy. It wouldn't be that guy. Who looks like they're? I don't know. Maybe it is. Yeah. Let's let's uh, switch to this guy and see what see what he has planned. One day. Hmm. Yeah. Um, now I really wish I didn't dismiss that. <laughs> All right, let's go back to this view. Yeah, it's not going to be that guy. It's not going to be this guy, I don't think. I don't know what I don't know what I just disconnected. I'm gonna have to pause here for a second and go back and look at the video. Yeah, I don't know any I don't really see anybody else who would need a maneuver. How about this oh this guy maybe? I don't want to lose time too much. Okay. Why can't I select him? Because I just can see periapsis. Yeah, which one is he? There it was. Guys, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, there's some advantages to recording what you do. <laughs> The thing that confused me is that it said Mimisat 3, and we are now in mid Orbsat 3, which was Mimisat 3. So, through all my canceling and doing whatever I did, it, it whatever, I ended up setting an alarm that was for this ship that didn't have anything to do with anything, if that makes sense. So, yeah, and, and what we're going to do to do is wait nine days for this guy to come around, and then we should be in good shape. So sorry about all that confusion. I certainly uh, confused myself. Look, I hit F8 this time, and we can see a little bit better where we're at. Yeah, we're we got to we're stretching our connection capabilities for some reason. I'm not sure if both satellites need to have that, but. Yeah, there's Mimisat 2. That's the next maneuver we would do in two days. But I think we've spent more or less enough time in this, this episode. And so let's, uh, let's see. Can we come back to here and leave? Yeah, let's head back over to the Space Center. So let's see how old Rodimir's doing in Puncher 5. How's that sound? Let's let one screen close before we try to open another one. See if he's still alive over here after few more days of all right we just have fuzz come on ground control yep look they're still there yeah they're on the dark side but they let's see how is their battery power doing in general yeah 97 percent. so they're in they're in reasonably good shape over here and then so we got mid orbs at three and in that many days and then just one day away we have Let's see, Mimisat 2. So this is the one that's going to go and go into orbit of Mimis. So are we getting close enough that we can... Yeah, there's the Earth. Is that Mimis there? Is it? Let's see. Where is... Oh, no. Mimis would be... Yeah, if we're looking at... Yeah, so Mimis is going to be this way, right? So let's go back. Yeah, Mimis would be over here somewhere. I still don't even see it. I guess it would be over this way, right? There it is. There's Mimis. So that's where we're heading to. It's coming this way, and we're going that way. All right, guys. Well, there we go. We reversed an orbit, which is, you know, kind of a pretty big thing.
you know, a little bit unique learning experience, right? And hopefully you guys understood my physics explanation of that. And unfortunately, yeah, it was just too much. We probably should have tried to, you know, to just keep burning that pro grade, but that's okay. A little patience in life won't hurt us. It'll go through one extra loop, come back around, and we'll get it that time. In the meantime, there should be other things for us to do. Let's see, do we get, well, really, we need to get Rodimir done before, because we're kind of, I think he's kind of clogging up the, the works there, right? Yeah, let's just jump over oh, here real hi. quick. Part testing. Oh, we got more satellites. Polar orbit of Kerbin. Yeah, so. Yeah, well, maybe we'll consider that next time too, right? But I think we also might just want to clear up some contracts. All right, guys. Well, once again, I hope you have enjoyed this week's videos. Let me know if you have any comments. We're making progress, and before you know it, we'll, uh, we'll get those SETI contracts done so we can move on to the next things. Sound good? All right, guys. Take care of yourselves, and have a good day. Bye-bye.